Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Rusher here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. We got a late night video tonight, kind of unexpectedly, but a big uh, map change, big update has just occurred in game. It's the Black Panther Monument. We're going to be discussing all things Black Panther. Of course, the tragedy that happened with Chadwick Boseman and how Fortnite's going to respond in the future. But uh, excited to show you that. We're also looking at all the new upcoming abilities, like every single one with all the details throughout the entire season. And then finally, we're going to be looking at Chapter 1 POIs making a return, not just Marvel POIs later this season and we'll get to that near the end of the video so basically stick around it's going to be a good one we got some stuff sprinkled in between as well as usual and if you could touch that like button for me uh it helps tremendously and other than that let's get to it here is every upcoming ability you can tell which ability belongs to who based on the color all right so we'll start with black panther in the spirit of today's video the ability will block 50% damage for X amount of time. The more damage it blocks, the more it charges. After it charges, you can blast to damage anything nearby. Speed buff is 1.3 and cooldown is 10 seconds. That sounds like a fun one to use, a very fun one to use. And uh, I'm excited. And we, again, we don't know the order of these things. I would assume that the ability release is close to when the POI gets, gets updated to the game, right? In this case, Black Panther. We also have Ant-Man at some point, although his ability is not on here. Hulk, Jump Smash, Slam Player, Damage 40, Cooldown 0.5, Ability Damage 5k. Uh, there's a Max and Midge Charge Time, Smash Cooldown, and Gravity Duration. He also has a fist, has low health regen and combo damage 60, third strike damage 120, and he has a speed buff there as well. So I, I don't know if these, these might be two different abilities when, when the Hulk abilities drop. We've got Berserker Dash for Wolverine, and then we've got Spin Splash for Wolverine as well. I'm going to stop reading them all out to you. You can read them. <laughs> I, I realize that's going to take a very long time. Storm, Tornado Jump is the name of the, that ability. Then we've got Thor Sky Strike, and finally Iron Man Repulsor Cannon. And a reminder: with 14.1, the authority is going to be turning into uh, to Iron Man's location. So we, I, I highly expect 14.1 to contain at least the Iron Man ability. And again, I'm going to take a guess: Black Panther ability. But those are guesses. But the the 14.1 authority change uh, it, it seems to be uh, true based on what we've seen in the files and what a lot of the leakers have said over the last couple of days. Another thing that's exciting here, I was looking through the Fortnite files, Kumar, for the heli carrier parts and I accidentally stumbled onto something. Nick Fury's eye patch is in the game files. I assume he will be on the heli carrier as that is where this file is. So I don't know if he's going to be a skin, a playable character, uh, but yeah, Nick Fury is, uh, is going to be coming to the game. Hopefully we can purchase the skin. I mean, they've already given us so many good skins. Why not throw in another, right? <laughs> oh man, We're, our wallets are going to be empty after this, uh, this season, ladies and gentlemen. I've already bought the full battle pass and the silver surfer bundle, and it's been four days. Whatever. They make good stuff, we're going to buy it. That's just how it goes for us Fortnite players, hey? Fire Monkey. Mango leash length was increased from 1,200 to 100,000. 100 million, sorry, in a hot fix. As far as I'm aware, this is how far you can travel while disguised as someone with Mystic, meaning you should be able to take more than just like five steps now after disguising. So uh, he confirmed later on it is fix. Uh, so the Mystic uh, ability, the reactive skin where you eliminate someone you can turn into them in game uh, is now fixed. So you can walk uh, for a, a pretty long time. I don't know if it's unlimited while using it. You got to test that out. But yeah, a quick bug fix from Epic. You love to see it. If you enjoy these videos at all, make sure to subscribe to the channel. A quick reminder, my job is to keep you up to date on all things Fortnite, and that's exactly what I'll do. Turn those notifications on for me as well, and uh, you won't miss a thing, I promise. Okay, let's look at the, uh, the Black Panther POI. Uh, first, we had it earlier today. Uh, expect Black Panther POI maybe tomorrow as risks are now in the place where the monument will appear. And yes, at uh, 2 a.m. Eastern, so 13 minutes ago, the Panther Monument is now in game. Uh, we've got a quick tour here from Fort Torrey. Of course, with Chadwick Boseman passing away, I, I don't know if this, I, like I think Black Panther Monument was just going to come out anyways, but uh, like at, at this time, but I'm not sure. They might've pushed it uh, along further just to, you know, leave behind a, a memory of him in game, commemorate his achievements and what a great guy he was uh, just throughout his life. So I don't know which way. I'll, I'll try and get confirmation on that, but here it is.
Epic, epic spot, epic location. And once again, just back to Fortnite storyline. Remember, uh, it looks like that all these, you know, POIs that are coming in, these little POIs, they're like representations of uh, bigger planets. It's like they take a bit, a little chunk out of the planet and bring it to the Fortnite world. And we think Tony Stark is the one behind it. That's kind of where we're at storyline wise. So we'll, we'll see what happens uh as as more pois start coming out but it's, it's been four days we've already had ant-man and, and now this one right it's it's exciting moving on here some storyline stuff about I, or, uh, iron man's car a new whiplash style that is not in the game yet has huge lore a a implications this came out a little while ago but i was saving it when we had some time to discuss it and i'll, I'll sum it up so we are going to be getting an iron man car which is what that is in the files he did some more digging and uh, Mark 51 is the license plate and he discovered some huge storyline connections. The Mark 51 is model prime armor was a new suit of armor that could change shape and color based on the task at hand, essentially merging all of his armor modes into a single unit. Stark was abducted to Battle Realm in order to take part in the Collector's Contest of Champions. We know that we are getting a Collector POI soon. I showed you photos of that in a previous video. After Tony fell into a coma during battle, units of the Model Prime armor remained in display in some of Tony Stark's labs. One of them was stolen by the reformed Victor Von Doom and repurposed into his own version of the Iron Man armor when he took it upon himself to carry on Iron Man's legacy. Doom. The armor can also release miniature drones for environmental scanning. And when designing this armor, uh, David Marquis, Marquis took an inspiration from contemporary car and aircraft concepts, in particular the Lamborghini Aventador. Fortnite's whiplash was based on the Aventador. And finally, the craziest part of all, this armor can also create a zero point energy bubble, which drains an excessive amount of energy. This energy bubble can be used to attack enemies with a shockwave energy blast or a for or as a force field to contain them. So it, this thing is in the files. Here's a better look at Iron Man Whiplash with the proper colors, not just a mesh. And uh, it's gonna be coming to the game at some point. And basically uh, Kumar here has tried to, or has successfully made some connections and some possibilities there of what we could see in the Fortnite world and uh, maybe abilities or what we're going to see in the live event who knows man but he's he's making some guesses some educated guesses i should add on mango another exciting piece of news snobby shores is a listed spawn location for coastal fish what's weirder is that it's mentioned for all coastal fish besides slurp fish no other old pois are mentioned is this a mistake or something else uh there's more to this but i'll wait for hypex to release the find he hasn't released the find yet i i try i didn't put it in the video earlier today because i was waiting but there's nothing he's uh you know released about this yet but basically what he's saying is snobby shores is in the files for coastal fish that's a chapter one location and uh the top comment basically says it all in before tony's beacons start bringing in locations from chapter one instead of marvel locations uh, again, that, I think that's a great guess, and I don't fully disagree with it. Uh, again, this could be a mistake, but uh, does Epic make a lot of mistakes? Especially this big, maybe. Maybe. Maybe we're reaching here. It's a news channel. Of course we reach a little bit. But that's where we're at. Let me know your thoughts. Would you be a fan if the thing started messing up, and not only were we getting Marvel locations, but snippets of the Chapter 1 map as well? It could kind of solve the, the nostalgia we have. We, we want a little bit of chapter one, but I know we still got parts, Pleasant Park and Salty, but yeah, it'd be a cool way to do it. And uh, let me know your thoughts on that one. Lastly here, uh, Don Cates confirmed on Twitter that the Fortnite times Marvel crossover is true canon to the mainstay or mainstay 616 Marvel universe. Really excited to see how the season story continues to pan out. And I guess it's confirmed that the tax shoddy is OP. Uh, so yeah, you could look here. Been getting this question a lot. Yes, it's the proper 616 Thor and Galactus from Nick Klein and I's Thor run, but then they go through a dimensional rift and into the world of Fortnite. So yes, this all really happened. Comics are fun and weird, y'all. Uh, and that was, re 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 you know, responding to his Thor Nexus War 616. Um, yeah, so the, the comics that we're reading are actually part of the, the real Marvel comics. And I think that's a cool thing. And it goes on to say some, I know there's some major Marvel fans out there and uh, I respect that, right? I'm, I, I'd say my closest would be Star Wars. I don't know everything, but uh, I love Star Wars. I love looking at the lore, the details, all the, all the implications that the movies have had. And if there's holes, it's fun. It's fun to be a mega fan. I'm not a mega fan, but that, that's the closest relation I have. 
But what Donnie Cates goes on to say is everyone in my mentions who are very upset about Marvel being in Fortnite, a few things. It's fun. Fun is allowed. It helps build a bridge for new and young readers, which is great. Gestures to entire world. There are bigger things to be angry about, guys. Uh, and then also a lot of y'all never played Marvel vs. Capcom as a kid and it shows. Basically, just let it happen. Don't be, you know, get angry at something else. And I completely agree with him. If this is making you mad, oh, there's a lot of things out there. Just do a quick Google search. What 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 are things in the world I should be mad about? Ah, maybe that'll be biased, but you know what I mean. You got let fill your brain with other things, and I completely agree. Fun is fun, and uh, I, yeah, I'm just having a blast with the season. And let me know for all, any Marvel mega fans out there. Let me know if if you are angry or if you are. Uh, if you're all right with it, what your perspective is. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being naive and closed-minded here. I want to hear it in the comment section. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed, touch that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here or just haven't hit the sub button. And code the Camp and Rusher as well. Uh, I'm away for two days. I'll have a video back up on Friday covering everything I missed. Until then, take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.